Hey, what's up everyone? It's JP here. I've got the Fusion in front of me with a new DYS F4 Pro V2 board because I tore off a couple of the solder pads that were on the old one, but I love this board. It works really well for me and um, very accessible for me to get a new one. So a lot of friends ask me how I run this setup, maybe because they're getting video noise. Um, they put capacitors on there and uh, they still get some things bleeding through the video. So uh, I had a little thought about it when I had my friend Pete build out almost the exact same setup as me. I think the only thing he doesn't use that I use is uh, uh, the Micro Predator. Uh, I've also had another couple friends ask me online to kind of go over how my wiring diagram is for this board uh, because I don't use capacitors. That's one thing. I don't use it because it doesn't fit on this setup the way I want it to. So, um, and I'll also kind of go over how to set up the rest of it and see if there's any difference. I mean, a lot of this stuff is pretty, pretty basic. Um, you guys will see that I don't do anything crazy special. There is some things that I go through that uh, I've read online from really old posts on like RC groups, some posts that probably no one will ever see ever again. Um, but I did have to go to like the deep dark interwebs to try to find an answer to why the video noise comes out. Um, because I don't have problems with my ESCs. I have never had problems with ESC noise never had problems with noise in general, except for uh, ESCs actually going out and popping. So I'll have about bad video noise for about five seconds and then the ESC will pop. So that explains that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here we go, we're gonna start the actual build part itself. Um, the first thing I'm actually gonna solder up is the, the ES, uh, the first thing that I'm gonna solder up is the receiver wire. And this is the Spectrum X4649T. Uh, I did break off one of these antenna UFL connectors, so I did have the solder back on and I had to take off the nice casing and everything, and then I put this on there. Makes it look all, makes it look like a cheap receiver, but really it's not. So, mm, yeah, I'm gonna solder the connector for it, which I have right here. It's all pre done up, and we'll be using the ground five volt on this side right here, these metal pins. And then, let me just turn this around for you guys. So, this is the ground all the way to the outside, the five volts over here. And since this isn't, uh, I, I've had these, I've had problems with these pinouts up here for SBUS, DSM2. Uh, so I end up using the receiver UART on this side, which is T TXRX3. So I'll solder that in real quick. Just tin it up. Sure, it's all nice and pretty. Make sure I'm soldering the right hole. And then solder these guys in. So I don't actually use the through holes. Uh, like how people normally do, because they think it's a nice build, but I like to go for easy. And this is the easiest way for me to lay these things down. And I don't use tweezers for the most part, because boom, just like that. It just goes right in.
just like that. So next would be the VTX harness for my tramp. So I do use Smart Audio, which is right under here. And then I use the video in, video out, which is right here. And the ground in five volt. Ground and VBAT. And this is a filtered VBAT, so this helps out filter out enough noise for me to where I don't see anything in my video. Maybe sometimes when I do like crazy hard punch outs. Actually, no, I don't. I don't. I don't get a video. Enough. Um, so we'll solder these in right now, too. Same thing. No. No pinhole used. This helps actually lay the wires down flat too, so um, the build looks a lot cleaner when it's in the quad. Uh, there's the ground and V bat. And then here is also the video out, which would be closest pin to the inside down here, which is going from the bottom is one, two, and then three. So this one would be right here. And it goes just like that. And then if you do have a VTX that enables smart audio or telemetry in Tramp VTX in emergence case, then you're going to want to send this wire across the board. Now, sucks because it doesn't make the bill look any nicer than what it should be for how much this board really is. So I'm going to have to turn this sideways. So here's the receiver pins that I used and then right underneath it is TX6 on the ground side, which is the outside. I'm just gonna wanna solder that straight to the board. Boom. We're almost done already. So, this is my setup. Uh, I did have the original MQC com dock, but I had a lot of problems with it. The slot that would hold the com dock in place would slip out a lot, and it melted from how hot this VTX gets. So, I did print one out again on Thingiverse. And I made it look as nice as I could. Now you guys like that. All right, now here's the part where people always ask me and they don't understand what I'm saying. Just get this out of the way. For my camera, what people would normally do is they'll have the extra pigtail that runs off of this. I know Tommy, oh my God, uses it to where they use the filtered five volts that comes off of this to run the camera. But I don't do that. What I do is I take this camera wire over here. Is what I'll do is I'll straight solder the negative to where the negative is for the for the VTX, just like this. And sharing the same ground wire creates magic when it comes to making sure that we don't have any problems with video noise. And I've done this not only on this DOS board, I've done it pretty much on every single board I use. 
like the Betaflight F4, the Maytech 405, which I know a lot of people get video noise easily from, and I didn't get it on it. So just like that. Got a little tug just to make sure everything's nice and secure. And then solder the video in and that's the wiring diagram that I use. Nothing too crazy, nothing too out of the ordinary. But this right here has saved me a lot of trouble in going out and breaking capacitors. So, if you found this video helpful, come on, look at it. So, if you found this helpful, Please like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any comments, like you don't like this video, or you want to see more of this kind of stuff when it comes to the, the components that I use, please let me know.